First of all, I, I think that God, God, I think basically God allows us to come to know what's good and bad just using the cognitive faculties he's given us. And those are not things that we need a special revelation to discern. The example I gave, it's good to live a long, happy life with friends and family, bad to live a short, painful, lonely life. We just, we just know that we, we come to find those things through living and experiencing uh, the world. So, uh, so there, there's no special. And, and even as far as moral obligations are concerned, I think God has very good reasons for making it possible for us to recognize these things, uh, again, through uh, our cognitive faculties. He's given us intuition might be one of those, so if they're like mathematical principles, we can come to know them through rational intuition. Uh, we might have emotions that are in some way tuned. I think that we do. There's a very interesting book that I recommend by Paul Bloom called Just Babies. He's a psychologist, not a philosopher. But uh, there's now quite a lot of research showing that extremely young infants uh, are more or less programmed to recognize injustice and be unhappy when they see it. It's part of our nature. We're, it's, we're, it's built right into our nature. I think, in fact, this is one of the things that supports a sort of religious view of morality, the fact that there's this fit between our nature and these truths, even if they are basic truths. Uh, that's, a, that's a hard thing to explain. The people who do these so-called evolutionary debunking arguments try to make use of this gap uh, they try to say, how is it that evolution just happened to program us to come up with the right moral principles that we find attractive? I think that's a hard question to explain, and I think a, a theistic sort of worldview makes more sense of that. Uh, 